What is going on everybody? Raku finally got the day off of work. Yeah, next two days, so hopefully we get to go out tomorrow too. The weather's gonna be yeah. of course. But we're gonna uh we got a little window here. We're gonna try to get offshore. He's dying to catch some big bottom fish. And fish her hopefully a couple hours and then turn around and skip on back in. to do it's getting rougher out here as you can see I love this bay boat man so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to another reef that's offshore about seven miles but what that allows us to do is have the waves you know coming in a different angle so we can we're running 25 30 without slapping a bit so We'll run over there. There's a couple of nice spots. Maybe we can catch a keeper grouper. We want to catch a fish for dinner. I want to make this dude something awesome. I don't care what it is. Big enough to keep, we're making dinner. Watercolor is beautiful today. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Yeah, yeah man. You'll eat him. Uh, oh, I, Dad, you're on. Uh, I'm on bottom. So you switched it up and you put a piece of squid on. We were, we're trying. Getting, we were getting bites here and there with the pinfish, but it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, doing frozen anything. pins. So second he put a piece of squid on it, stinky stuff, gets them fired up. So hopefully that might, might get us eaten here by something we can take home and eat. The food chain, Brandon, it's the food chain. This is why you gotta be careful with treble hooks. I want to pull it down and hook it on. Look at that, went through both fingers. They're stuck together. That, Just that, glad that bar wasn't in there. Well, he's dark. That's a nice girl. Yeah, nice. Nice. Sweet. He's borderline, isn't he? Yeah. Crazy, man. Group of bite has been slow. Good one, man. Oh, is that a big man? Oh, it's, it's red. A red. Ooh, he might keep, bro. Yeah, he's gonna keep. Yes. Let's go. I, I don't know. I haven't measured one in a while. <laughs> Let's measure him right quick. Let's go. Twenty, almost twenty-one. Yep. Sweet, bro. Let's go. You got dinner. Well, yeah. I got dinner. He's got dinner. Gosh. You, you need to catch one now. I know. I'm waiting. All right, All right, let's reel him in and go back over that spot. All right. What in the world? I thought I was snagged. We couldn't get our camera to work. I got to get this hook out of this poor guy. Oh well, got it back anyway. Ah. All right, guys. Well, we got some weather moving in. Bunch of thunder boomers. the sky all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back in get the boat cleaned up 
And then uh, what do you think, what do you, well, how do you want me to prepare this fish? Uh, you haven't had any? No, I've been on a clean diet, so I'm getting something there super, you have. super unhealthy for once. Let's do some, <laughs> let's do some uh, greasy, something like fish and chips. How does, how does that sound? Yeah? Yeah. My, uh, that was my dad's favorite. Every time we'd come home from the cake, we'd stop and get fish and chips. Yes. Every time, or get it on the way there. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That's good. So what do we end up with? A few grunt, nice grunts, and then uh, uh, one keeper red grouper. Maybe I'll make some uh, nice french fries too. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, all right, let's go put some stuff in grease. All right. See you in the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out one of these grunts. I filleted one. catch them, you can eat them. Most fish in the ocean. Some fish taste better than others though, and this is one of those. Nice white meat. All right, let's knock the skin off of here. Why are we filleting in the house? Because it is absolutely pouring out there. sections we got that big grouper or that I guess it would be a small grouper because it was just a keeper and uh, we're gonna make some fish and chips thank you got these big old Russets, fry maker, bam, just like that. And we're just going to add some beer to our batter mix. McCormick never used this stuff before, so I'll let you know what we think. That should be good. Okay, well, we got our oil hot. Let me throw some fries in here, B, and see what they do. We'll salt them after. Perfect. Now, let's see how this batter sticks to a filet. I'm gonna do the whole here. Shove it down in there. Oh my goodness. Kind of liking it. Sticking good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, let's get rid of the excess. Fish and chips. My dad's fave. Oh, good call. All right. Ready into the right. grease. 
all that healthy stuff you've been doing for your body that's about to go to the wayside <laughs> yeah baby I like it oh my gosh dude that looks awesome Look at this. All right, let's get this bad boy out of here. Oh my goodness. Listen to the juice coming out of the meat. You can hear it popping. I'm gonna let you do the taste test, but what I wanted to do was salt these fries and stuff a little bit. No, I'm good. It looks good the way it is. All right, and then we're going to give you some homemade tartar sauce too, okay? All right. Got jalapenos, dill. Mm. There you go, pal. All right, bud. Before you eat, let's do a quick prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our family, dear God, and, and all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, dear Lord. Uh, we thank you for health. And um, more importantly, dear God, we say, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die on the cross and save us from our sins, dear Lord. And we ask forgiveness of all of our sins, thought, word, and deed. And in Jesus, your son's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, buddy, you wanted fish and chips? Yeah, I, I did my best rendition. Right. This can be an honor of grandpa. To grandpa. To grandpa. That's really good. Is it good? That's really good. This is mine, right? Yeah, the whole plate. That's awesome. How's that tartar? It's super good. You guys made this yesterday? Yeah, a couple of days ago. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Oh, by the way, guys, we use good. peanut oil. That's what I use for my uh, french fries, too. So we use peanut oil. Give me a sliver of that thing. But what I I really don't like is oils that are made from like nuts or seeds, I should say. So canola oil, uh, peanut oil, different things like that because it's kind of bad for men. It makes your what is it cortisol level rise, and then that attacks your testosterone and brings your testosterone down, which well, is not a good thing. I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once, though. Yeah, because it has totally something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's mm. yeah, That's really good. Mm. Oh my goodness, what a nice crunch. So, fantastic, McCormick beer batter, first time we've used it. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's amazing. That's really so, good. glad we get to go out. Yeah, Hopefully sure. we can get to go out again soon. Yeah, I know you're definitely. working a lot, the holiday season and all, but. Yeah. All right, bro. That sounds good. Love you. Love you. Now, just yeah. try not to uh, this. do this every day. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he eats so healthy. Anyways, guys, that's all we got. So I guess we're going to see you in the next one. Guys, we're out. <laughs>